Hi, I'm uh, Supervisor Christina Olagi from District 5. I would appreciate your support in November, November 6th, and I would like to serve this community for the next four to eight years. Uh, I grew up in a farm labor camp in the Central Valley uh, in the 60s and 70s. It was a very oppressive environment to grow up in. I experienced and witnessed a lot of injustices and racism. San Francisco has always been a place where everyone is accepted. Um, as a Chicana and member of the LGBT community, I wanted to live in a place where I felt more welcome and San Francisco is that place. I've got a solid track record. I spent seven and a half years on the San Francisco Planning Commission. Two of those years I served as its president, three of those years as its vice president. I understand land use intimately in San Francisco. And I also now have been supervisor, your supervisor, for the past 10 months. I have a record of achievements. I have a, a record that shows my dedication and my devotion to all the residents of this district. I have a vision for this district that includes keeping seniors housed and feeling safe and giving them opportunities so that they can create a fulfilling life for themselves. We need to make sure that young people have jobs. We need to make sure they have opportunities. We need to make sure that the school district is accountable to young people and that they're getting the appropriate education uh, and the appropriate skills that they need to access jobs, whether it's in the trades or in the tech industry. We need to make sure that they have the ability to fulfill their potential, whatever that might be. Uh, also, I'm working closely with small businesses, making sure that they can thrive in this city and that uh, they're viable and uh, successful. We've worked with a lot of the commercial corridors to just make them as strong as they can possibly be. We're working on legislation around tour buses and regulating them. At the same time, we're working at legislation to make sure that public housing residents who are displaced through renovation or any other number of issues are allowed the right to return. To have hearings to understand the impacts that being exposed to violence on a regular basis has on young people. We were able to make sure that certain uh, crisis centers remained funded in the city. Because of those hearings, because of that one hearing we had, we have also asked that um, the Housing Authority meetings be televised. We feel that since so many people in the community live in um, Housing Authority units, that there should be more transparency of government. I am so grateful for your support and your endorsement. I plan to remain your supervisor for the next four to eight years, and we'll continue to work to, together to build a wonderful culture in District 5. So again, I'm uh, Supervisor Christina Loggi. I'm your supervisor in District 5. I care about this community. I prioritize the issues of this community. And I feel like we're just beginning the conversation. There's so much that I want to do. So I hope to have your support November 6th. Christina Olagi, District 5 Supervisor. Hi, my name is London Breed. I'm a candidate for District 5 Supervisor in the district that I was born and raised in, right here in the Fillmore, the heart of the Fillmore, and I'm so honored to be running for Supervisor. The real reason why I'm running for Supervisor is because I have watched as our community has changed, and not for the better. It has changed and access to opportunities for African Americans in this district have been slipping away rapidly. Sadly, I lost a sister to a drug overdose, and I sadly have a brother who is in jail, and luckily I run the African American Art and Culture Complex, an incredible 34,000 square foot arts facility where we have provided opportunities for another way. Because of the programs that I've done at the African American Art and Culture Complex, I have kids that are in college, I have kids that are actively engaged and working and living productive lives, and yes, sadly, I have lost some kids. It can't be just uh, that we people come into our community, they ask for a vote without actually doing something to make the community better. I have done things my entire life to make this community better because I don't want to see people continue to get loss of opportunities here. Yeah. So I am asking you to vote for London Breed, the product of this district. You are the community that raised me to be who I am today, and I'm hoping that you'll uh, push me and, and continue to encourage me and part of that is making sure that I'm your supervisor and I want us to work together to bring this community together so that we can move District 5 forward the way that it deserves to be moved forward. My name is London Breed. I'm your candidate for District 5 supervisor and I'm asking for your support. My name is Julian Davis. I am running for supervisor to keep San Francisco real. We are seeing a city that more and more 
is becoming tougher and tougher for everyday working families, black families, young families, working families, teachers, uh, firefighters, artists, students, seniors, uh, to afford to live here. San Francisco is in danger of losing its cultural, ethnic, and socioeconomic diversity unless we start to take action. I want to take leadership of the Board of Supervisors that will create economic development policies that work for everyday working people in San Francisco and focus on affordable housing as well. Some of my background, I used to work for then Assemblyman, now State Senator Mark Lena. Uh, for a few years, I was economic uh, director, uh, executive director of an economic development nonprofit. Uh, working directly with small business folks, uh, minority and women small business owners to help them set up shop and get through some of the hurdles of doing that in San Francisco. More recently, I've served on the board of the Booker T. Washington Community Service Center and until very recently was board president at the center working with our very talented staff uh, and board members to realize a vision of a new center with uh, on-site supportive housing for emancipated foster youth, a critical needs uh, housing need population in the state of California right now and certainly in San Francisco. I'd be very pleased to have the support of the African American Democratic Club. Please check out my website. It's juliandavis.org. You can check us out as well on Facebook and Twitter. I'm John Rizzo. I'm running for supervisor in District 5. One of the things that distinguishes me as a candidate is my experience as an elected official. I was elected twice by voters to the Community College Board where I've taken on tough issues, such as fighting corruption, uh, dealing with uh, severe budget cutbacks from the state, and most recently, the accreditation crisis. Um, I've been leading the college through all of these crises, and um, we now have a plan uh, that uh, was just released the other day uh, that will move us forward. I want to do the same kinds of things for the city of San Francisco. We have um, problems that have been just going on for too long. We have uh, a dysfunctional transit system that I think we need to take a look at and figure out how to correct it. I did this with city colleges multiple times, such as with the construction projects that were way over budget, hundreds of millions of dollars. I fixed it. The last two buildings were on budget, saving money that we could use for other programs. I also want to address uh, uh, public safety and crime, and we need to take a uh, look at each individual spot. And the supervisor needs to work with the community, with the businesses, with the police to solve the issues um, in, at, at every location. Um, I am also a longtime Sierra Club um, leader for 15 years. I've helped create hundreds of green jobs by um, promoting and uh, developing uh, green jobs programs uh, that the city has adopted. The Go Solar SF program has hired hundreds of uh, employees and 40 companies have moved into the city because of this program. And at City College, I've also created programs to train people for green jobs. So I think I can do much more uh, of this at the city with the experience that I have that no one else has. Thank you. Folks, my name is Daniel Everett and I'm running for District 5 Supervisor. I'm also an attorney here in San Francisco. That being said, to quote another attorney, the late jurist Oliver Wendell Holmes, as life is action and passion, one must engage in the action and passion of their time at the peril of being judged not to have lived. Folks, I'm here to tell you that I have been passionate and engaged with the issues shaping San Francisco and shaping District 5. I have been passionate because of my upbringing. I was raised by a Vietnam veteran who came back from the war with many of the symptoms of other veterans, including post-traumatic stress disorder, which left him 100% disabled. I watched as my father, a very proud man, begged and haggled with the governments for the benefits that he so dearly needed and other veterans needed it as well. He and other veterans gave voice to the unforgivable mistreatment of other veterans. It was only through his efforts that reform was slowly but surely put into place. I detail this story to you because it is instilled in me a sense of resolute toughness and dignity and also a requirement that I give back to my fellow man and give voice to those who are so often cast aside. 
That led me to the Edward R. Murrow School of Communication, where I served my community by bringing stories to the light. That led me to the office of United States Senator Maria Cantwell, where I worked on her staff and her indigent, excuse me, on her immigration services team. That led me to the San Francisco School of Law, excuse me, the Hastings School of Law, where I served as vice president of one of the largest law schools in the country. That led me to the San Francisco County Indigent Defense Panel, where I work on the behalf of the poor on a daily basis, representing those Sixth Amendment rights to counsel, representing the poor in a way that gives them dignity and hope. Folks, this election is about the future, and it is also about the future of the African American community here in San Francisco. That being said, I have a plan that includes micro lending that will uplift our community to give individuals uh, construction contracts, to give individuals opportunity to businesses, to give individuals the opportunity to hire African Americans who are looking to move beyond the poverty line that has so often entrapped our communities of color here in San Francisco. That being said, folks, this election is one of the most important elections that we will face because it will define us as a people here in San Francisco. That being said, I humbly ask for your vote, and I thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Uh, my name is David Campos, and I am running for re-election as District 9 Supervisor, and it is my honor to appear before the African American Democratic Club and seek your endorsement. I have tried to be a supervisor that ensures that we have a city that works for everyone, including the neediest members of our society, of our community. Uh, and one of the things that we have done is trying to figure out how we help working people in San Francisco. One of the latest campaigns that we have worked on is making public transportation, Muni, free for low-income people because we heard from our kids, from our families, that many kids in San Francisco had to choose between taking paying for uni on a given day or buying lunch that day. I think that San Francisco is better than that and that with all the wealth that San Francisco has, we have to make an investment in our kids, we have to make an investment in our families and that there is no justification for a kid not going to school because they have to, they can't afford to pay for the bus. Likewise, we don't believe that it's uh, right that kids have to sneak uh, on buses to the back of the bus uh, and risk getting a ticket because they can't afford to pay for public transit. The kind of approach that we have brought to that issue is the same approach that we bring to other issues. How do we as a wealthy city ensure that the needs of all of our kids, of all of our families are addressed? That's the kind of supervisor that I have tried to be for my neighborhood, for the Mission, Bromo Heights, the Port Lot, St. Mary's Park. That's the kind of supervisor that I've tried to be for the entire city. Uh, I would be proud to have your endorsement and today seek your support. Thank you. Oh, I am. Hi, I'm Norman Yi. I'm running for supervisor in District 7. I'm currently the president of the school board in San Francisco, where I feel proud of our records in the last eight years. I've worked with my colleagues to increase, in, increase our test scores for the last eight years. We've started we're actually reducing the uh, achievement gap, and I'm real proud of that because very few districts are actually, actually able to do that. And I leave I leave the school district in a much better place than when I first started eight years ago. Prior to that, I spent 30 years uh, working in the community, um, primarily bringing in services to low-income communities. Um, I started in Chinatown, and branched into a, to a citywide organization in which I work with many different organizations throughout San Francisco to, to try to improve the services for childcare and education. So I work with such organizations with the, with the young, uh, Audrey L. Smith and so forth. And one of the last things I did in that particular organization was the ability to work with the Sunnydale Housing to bring in, to actually build a new center. My organization actually built a center because people there said they really needed services and nobody was, nobody was really paying attention to them. So by the time I left, I was able to build a center for 90 children to uh, provide childcare for them all day long from zero to five. I, I want to continue my service to the city, to the children, to the families, to the communities as a supervisor. I feel like uh, what I bring in is that I'm able to work with diverse uh, 
opinions, I build consensus, I get results, I make tough decisions, and this is what I would do. I would work with the African American community to make sure that they are heard. Please vote for me, please support me. I would love to have the support of the African American Democratic Club. Thank you very much. I'm Norman Yee, running for Supervisor in District 7. Hi, this is Lynette Sweet, and I'm running for re-election to the Bar Board of Directors, so I'm looking for your vote on November 6th, but today what I'd really like to say is thank you to the African American Democratic Club. Their early endorsement really means a lot. My people really feel as if I can bring it home for them, and as always, it's experience, jobs, and justice. That's what I bring to the table. That's what I'm going to do for four more years. So again, thank you African American Democratic Club, and I look forward to your vote on November 6th.